Welcome back to Beagle Topics, where we're going to come a myriad of things connected with the Philadelphia Eagles. Today, up here, going from um, thoughts on the Eagles all the way to looking at a bit of film room and s seeing two of our surprising stars on the offensive line. We had a 85 point overall grade as a group, and uh, that topped any number that we had last year. So, interesting, even without Kelsey. What's up, it's your boy Centron coming back at you with another analysis within the kitchen. Not that's my name. Five Eagles thoughts. Devonta Smith's work as a slot receiver to Jalen Hurts' rushing ability and more. So will Devonta Smith be the Eagles go-to slot receiver all season long? Maybe. So we know that he uh, lined up there, I think, 70% of the snaps. So last year, he was 31% I mean, in 2022 and 12% 20, in 2021. He was just getting acclimated to the NFL. Um, this has been his fourth year. But uh, Kellen Moore has him uh, lined up there for the you know, advantages, the mismatches that it allows, and he was shining out there, man. Uh, he can still line up outside and get the job done, but um, making him so multiplicitous only helps out this offense and, you know, making it harder to identify where our guys are going to be, you know, with regularity, you know, helping, you know, the defense get a beat on us. And um, it just makes everybody that, that more versatile. So it allows us to attack a weaker corner. Uh, I'm not saying he can't go out there and be the best because he's it would be a clear cut number one, like they said on um, a lot of other teams. But we have the luxury of having him and AJ Brown as our uh, one and one A. I'll say. Um, anyways, yeah, man, he he's great to have, man. I mean, it, he just made some clutch catches, especially on that last drive, two um, first down chain movers, and you know he's tougher than you think. Got down perfectly on on some passes where he made the, the linebacker and the you know DB hit each other and. Um, Doing damage, man. Damage. I did try to do damage control, but nah. All right. What type of rusher would Dale Hurts be in 2024? I'm here to say it doesn't really matter that much because um, as long as he offers enough of a threat, and I get that the RPOs weren't really working, um, I said almost said last night, but um, in the Friday night game. But, you know, it is what it is. We don't need him to, you know, be a supreme threat with all the weapons we have in the offense. Saquon Barkley, Dallas Goddard, A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, who, you know, were the aforementioned guys. And then we'll get John Dotson speed and see what he can offer as a number three guy. Uh, wide receiver number three guy, that is. Where he's, you know, the fourth or fifth option in his passing game, essentially. Um, and there's other miles to be fed. You know, Grant Calcaterra, uh, Will Shipley. They will figure it at some point down the road. Johnny Wilson, if he ever gets on track, could be a weapon, especially in the red zone. But we'll see. Um, but him being a, a type of rusher, I don't really care that much because he wasn't popping. I think what was it, 10 rushes, 33, but he was dangerous enough when he was running up the middle when, uh, you know, he, he was a pass play and he took off running because, you know, he uh, saw a scene. I like that more dangerous because they're trying to contain him on the outside, these inside rushes that are, you know, more a bit surprising and, and, you know, a little bit more unpredictable as far as how the lane's going to develop, but, um, a curveball because, you know, they're, they're, Containing on the outside well. So let's go with the the um, more um, unpredictable lanes, pun intended. So, oh, sorry, it's 13 times for 33 yards. So I'm um, not too concerned. You know, they'll get that untracked at some point, you know, but use it sparingly. I don't want him to be, you know, anywhere near, you know, you know, to rushing the way he did last year as far as volume wise, you know, and us slamming him, you know, into, you know, uh, teams. Let him go out there and get the surprise, you know, um, gallops. Like, you know, he had him, he's bullying through uh, Eric Stokes for a first down. Or, sorry, um, yeah, bullying through, whatever. All right, Saquon Barkley's on top on a wheel route. I mean, he just, it was beautiful. So much distraction. So they had the post here, uh, the double post with a, uh, A.J. Brown and, and um, Devonta Smith drawing coverage. So that's deep. And then they had, you know, something um, coming in the shallow area. It might have been Dallas Goddard. And then just for good measure, they had a guard pulling across formation to, you know, uh, distract the linebackers, which left him one-on-one. -on -one. And then the safety, you know, McKinney tried to scrape over to, you know, uh, just in case. He couldn't get there in time. The linebacker was beat, and it was just a perfect route run. So um, beautiful, beautiful work. Avante Maddox was overmatched against the, the Packers. Yeah, he allowed a 116.7 um, pass rating when he was targeted. I think it was, yeah, three catches for 30 yards and a TD. Not a lot, but still too much, you know. Um, PFF's 113 ranked cornerback, and uh, he may not be that garbage, but you know, um, he was overly matched, you know. So, um, I do believe he should take a back seat. Hopefully, when Rodgers gets healthy, we can bounce Quinn Mitchell to the slot. But by the way, he played outside. I, I, I'm going against something that I, I firmly believe that you know, he should get his playing time primarily in the slot. 
hey man, get him in the PT outside, and then you know, hopefully, um, we'll see who we, we'll play there. Because when Cindy Brown comes back, we have some of the big dime packages. The Cooper DeGene is healthy. Um, not, well, I believe he's healthy, but when he's up to speed, maybe we play, uh, maybe play him there full time. Um, hell, have Sidney Brown come up over top and then drop CJ Gardner Johnson up down there. We, we, know, we know he can um, play um, some quality snaps in the, in the slot, but we will see. Man. I, I just don't believe that you know our best option there is Avante Maddox because he looks like a good backup, but you know you don't want him out there too much, being stretched too thin. And um, with the damage he's taken to his physical frame, just isn't the same player, man. And just you know the lack of playing time he's gotten. Just as worn on him. All right, Moral Jones will be uh, in for a breakout season. He had, what, two pressures and then one QB hit. Excellent, man. Um, he got, you know, Jordan Love on the ground, you know, hit him. And, you know, Jordan Love was looking up like, damn. You know, like he was contemplating his life or something like that. You know, Aozora, uh, that, that blue sky, as they say in Japanese. But, um, yeah, man, he can, I think he's going to be a solid piece of our rotation. He's wearing a 97. But it looks to be better than um, the old 97 with being uh, Javon Hargrave because he's a pass rushing threat, um, even if he's less primarily so. But, you know, he's good against the run. He's a, you know, he's a gapper. He can um, also hold up, you know, guys. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing what he can bring to this defense um, as the fourth guy coming off the bench. But um, he's definitely on the uptick. So, um, you know, we'll see how, how deep the depth goes because, we got a lot of young guys. He's only in his second year. Jordan Davis in his third year. Jalen Carter in his second year. Milton Williams in his fourth year. And he's the other safety of the group. All right. Um, the last thing we'll get to is a tease here. But, you know, we saw these guys popping. So the Eagles film review. McKay back then encouraging his debut. So some of the bad habits that he had, you know, playing out of control, uh, leaning too far forward, getting, you know, swiped. We didn't see that in this game. We only saw him moving people. So it was combination blocks with, you know, Cam Jurgens. And also him just, you know, destroying guys and get to the second level at times. So um, very positive. We'll get to that a little bit later on um, another review. But um, it's positive, you know, that, you know, we also saw him you know, scraping across the formation and, uh, because he is a former tackle now. But using that athleticism and that versatility that he's had, you know, that's a, that's a, a wet dream for Jeff Stoutman. So um, then Cam Durgan is, is playing Curtin. You know, we know that he had the fumble snaps um, with the tush push being one where he didn't get it high enough. And, and Jalen, maybe you can put that on him. Um, and it's just a slippery field as well, but um, just the the untimely snap where he you know you know snapped it up to Jalen Hurts when he was going to his cadence and trying to maybe get the guy set and things like that, protect get protections and all that set, he wasn't ready for it. So um, put that on him. But you know other than that, you know he was getting up, showing his his power. You know he has the speed, you know to scrape across, and he got to the second level, you know second time uh, several times, and did some combination blocks with. Uh, What's his name with uh, Makai Becton? But, you know, it, it, it's 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 encouraging that he was playing, you know, that good. You know, he, he was playing out of position, you know, last year and still, you know, surprisingly, you know, played better than expected. And, you know, he's at his more natural position um, at center and, he, and he's popping. So um, I believe that, you know, he would be, give a solid play this season. And while he, you know, he looked a little bit shaky, hey, can't blame them. They didn't get a lot of snaps in the preseason, a lot of playing time together. They're knocking out the rust, but... Um, we still came out in, in a sloppy game and still got the win. But, you know, him and other guys graded out pretty well, as I said in the beginning of the video, 85 overall grade for the offensive line. You'll take that any day of the week. And some of the guys graded out around that number, 84 for 84.5 for Lane Johnson, 80 for Jordan Mailata. And uh, there's no way, you, you know, Lane Johnson graded out that low. You know, so he did pretty damn well. Um, but, yeah, man, like Cam Jurgens, you know, we'll look at later. But these two guys already surprising and showing that, you know, they're uh, worth um, the evaluations in, in the high praise that they got throughout the uh, offseason. All right. Now we're looking at one more thing here. Um, let's see here. Um, Jalen Hurts uh, versus the Blitz. He was blitzed 10 times and he got the ball out in 2.28 seconds. So I was faster than, you know, um, someone else said it was 2.43, but... If that's the case, I mean that that's lightning fast. It's like two of his numbers last year. He would just choom, go to his you know first read and um and and Tyreek Hill allowed him a lot of that. But you know Jalen has you know he doesn't have you know too far beneath that talent you know into a wide receiver uh, with AJ Brown and Devonta Smith. But um, excellent number to see, definitely a good sign. And also with um, the blitz, they only blitz uh, Jalen hurts nineteen point five percent of the time. And it was five man blitzes. They didn't send anything more than that. Um, didn't even try six plus. So. 
interesting, man. Um, I think they got, by the time they got burned by it, they were, you know, kind of reticent to do it. So, I mean, Jeff Halfley was stepping into a new, um, a new role, being a defensive coordinator at this level. He was a, a head coach at a Boston College, but, um, you know, testing things out. This is the first game of the season. So, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, un, you know, unknown, uncharted territory and, you know, those field conditions weren't primo, primo. So, uh, we'll see. But anyways, man, very encouraging things, but we'll get out of here on that note. Last thing we'll talk about because, hey, I know the truth. You're not even watching, though, but it's all good because I love talking about the Eagles and I love making these videos. So we'll chunk this is officially, but as always, as always, it's fly, Eagles, fly, and let's motherfucking go. Thanks for watching. Check me out at Cintron, Cintron Anime, Cintron Life, or Cintron Laughs, or other social media.